Whoa. Well, I have just had an absolutely banging day on the beach. I found a honey hole and got a load of pre-decimals. A uh, little bit of bling. So, uh, and a bit of silver. So, yeah, definitely watch this video. You will enjoy it. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. That way you'll never miss an episode. So, and uh, yeah, in the somewhere in the video, keep your eye out because I'm doing a giveaway for passing 500 subscribers. So, uh, but yeah, absolutely brilliant day. Catch you at the first hole. Fairly solid 14. See what we've got. Yeah, that's a su suspected. Yep. Unfortunately, the ring tab rings up like a 50p. About there. Good high tone. Could just be a beer can. But it's sticking around 26. Going up to 30 now, it's all over the place. Right to 26. Oh. Right, I think we've got it. Ugh. Right, whatever it is, is in the scoop. Let's give it a wash. Ah, we have our first coin. And behold, a penny. Well, coin's a coin. Quite like the, uh, the way that that looks. Nice bright tone, consistent 20. Does it? Feeling that might a bit. Nope. There we go. Taking the lead fishing weight. Well, we have our first bit of bling. I think it's just a badge. Although it says, uh, oh, actually, Virginia Westwood. An earring, maybe? Yeah. Uh, it's plated. But, eh, something shiny. Alright, let's do a live one on this. Absolutely blowing my ears off that. What is it gonna be? Didn't say it's particularly deep at all. Oh, whatever it is, we've got it in the scoop. Ah, you watch it be a two peak. Ah. 
Okay. It's a penny. <laughs> That's why it blew my ears off. Yes. Just a, an old penny. Uh, 75. Oh well, penny's a penny. Okay. Yeah. I was screaming. 14 in the scoop. Ah, we have a coin. Something better than a penny. Yeah, it looks like a 10p. Yeah. Uh, 1992. Okay, that's been there a while. Copper's showing through a bit. But, so what's that, 12p? That's not too bad, is it? Well, it's taken long enough. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. I thought it were a pound. It's a threepenny bit. Oh, we're on this breed decibels. Oh, cool. Uh, 55, 1955, cool. Well, I've got a coin, it's a solid 19. It was pretty deep in the mud. I can see roundness and I've got a cramp in my foot. Oh, look at that, it is a half penny. 1902. Good day to you, Edward. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, that's what I seem to get is half pennies. 1902, that's in reasonably good condition though. It's been a while, got a nice 1819. Uh, whereabouts is it? About there. Seven ganders. Come on. Where are you then? Really? Yeah, switch on. I'd have thought a signal like that would have been able to be picked up easily on the uh, with a pinpointer. It is tiny. There it is. That looks like. That looks cone shaped. It is a sixpence. 1942. Ha ha! We're on the silver. Oh man. It's only 50% silver, but still. Yeah. I'm going to guess that's old Georgie. Here it is. Good day to you, sir. Oh, nice. 42 silver sixpence. Bring it on. Nice. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, just add this. It's like it's got a, uh, an amethyst in it. Uh, it was a brooch by the looks of it. Probably plated. I don't think it's... Uh, I think it's silver. I don't know, it might be. I mean, I'll clean it up when I get back and test it. But, eh, nice little find. We have some sort of uh, badge or some kind. I can make something out on that. Uh, it's like a figure. Copper, I think it's got some writing on the back. Eh, 
Yeah, it might be interesting. She might be able to try and clean that up a bit. Yeah. Cool. Absolute solid nine. I can see something here. What have we got? Something green. Uh, oh, look, it's a sixpence. We have another sixpence. I do believe, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, I think that's a, more of a modern one. 57, yeah. That was a very definite signal, that one. Oh, cool. Let's do this one as a live one. 22, 23. Looks like we have it. Stop fuffing around, get the pinpointer on it. Okay. And we have our first gold nugget. Yay! Pound coin. Definitely onto some sort of patch. Uh, pound coin, sixpence, and then I've just had this little thing. I think it's like a button of some sort, but that looks like a lighthouse. And it's got that kind of claspy thing at the back. Oh, I mean it's copper, but rang up a nice 17. Yeah. Another sixpence, 1954. Cool. Okay, lovely tone. I think it might be a pound coin. Possibly. Could be a threatening bit. Deep. Right, we have it. Oh no. That looks like crud. Oh no. It has something on it. There is a design of some sort. I think it's aluminium. Yeah, it's different. That looks like an N. Yeah. yeah. You see it? It's in the middle of the screen. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, is that Victoria? It is. I can see Victoria. Good day to you, ma'am. So that's going to be a half penny that's pretty toasted, I'm going to say. That's a shame. It's fine, more or less fine on that side. Cool. 
There's a 23, 24, about there I reckon. Just in the scoop. Oh, I think I saw something. I think I see something. Do we have another sixpence? Or is it maybe a farting? I'm not sure. To clean that one up, I think. Definitely very green. I don't know how much sand's been taken out of this spot. But yeah, that's another coin. Nice. Well, there's so many interesting targets coming up. I've just had this. It's a, uh, it's like another little brooch. It's like it's had some stones in there at some point. It's like copper. And I think I can maybe see a little bit of gold gilding left on there. But yeah. Loads of different things coming up. One very toasted pen knife. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's going to cut anything anymore. And I believe we have another sixpence. Uh, or it could be a penny, I'm not sure. I think it's a sixpence. Gone absolute. Solid 20. What have we got? Uh, this looks to be a bit crusty. Uh, not sure. Could be 2p, could be a half penny. It's a bit thin to be 2p. I'm going to guess half penny, I think. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah, I can see a date. There we go, something... I think it says 1918. Or no, 1948, half penny. Yeah, cool. Just one blowing my ears off this. I think it's pretty shallow. Okay, we've got it in the scoop. I'd say it's a coin of some kind. Ooh! I think I have a big old penny that's really, really encrusted with some crap. Yeah, I'm not going to get that off in a hurry. Uh, that's definitely an old penny of that in there. Woohoo! I actually don't find many of these. Right, I'm not going to stop rubbing it and uh, I'll clean it up properly. Um, I think this might have to be acid tested. That could be gold. Could well be. Um, could also be brass. Um, but yeah, we'll acid test it to be safe on the safe side. Crack it, signals galore here. 21 there doesn't seem deep stole that Could be a can.
could well be a tin can. Oh no, we have it. We have it in the scoop. Just make sure I didn't drop it. Ugh. Shaky, 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 shaky. Come on, what are you? Uh, we have a coin. I think it might be a 2p. Bringing up that height. There we go. Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think that's a 2 pence. I'd say so. Uh, I'll clean up anyway when I get home. I don't think I've ever had a day like it. Look, I've just got another coin. That was quite golden. I mean, it can't be, but it is quite golden. I'd say that's a penny. An old, another old penny. Uh, yeah, I think I can make out George. Old Georgie there. Yeah. Cool. Crikey. I Well, I've never had more than one old penny in the same day, but I've also probably never had as many pre-decimals as this. It's got to be thanks to uh, that storm, Arwin, uh, which was last weekend. But how would people miss it? There's been like five detectors on the beach this morning. It's just loads of signals. I've got to, I'll dig this one. Solid 14. Where are you? There, I think it's gonna be I think it's a coin on its edge. Is that it? I guess. Yeah, I think I see it. Yeah, there's been at least five detectorists on this beach today. What we got? Uh, another pre decimal, I'd say. Might, probably a half penny. Bit thin. Yeah, that's another one for a clean up. Ah, uh, sorry about the noise, they're putting the Christmas lights up here on the seafront. So, uh, anyway, I'll carry on, see what else we can find. Uh, another sixpence, 1957. I don't believe this. Can you see it? Oh, you won't be able to now, but. Another one. What was this? 19... 19? Hello, George. Oh, wow. I can't believe I'd... Absolutely slaying it on the pre-decimals. I've never had so many pre-decimal coins in a day. This is like the best day's metal detecting ever. I said I was going to do a giveaway, and I am. Here's the prize. So, to the lucky winner, you will receive a Searcher coin pod, or finds pod, and a spray bottle. This bottle's actually mine. I do have another one um, in there. Hold on, let me just uh, enjoy the view a minute. Right. So if you haven't seen these before, they've got all the different segments you can put your coins in, uh, or buttons, all that sort of thing. Put your finds in there, keep them safe. Ah. 
and yes that's what i will be giving away um to celebrate me getting 500 subscribers well of the channel 500 subscribers woohoo uh i'm actually about 540 now but that's what i'm celebrating it's the 500 one and all you have to do to enter is just uh, leave a description and somewhere in the description just put hashtag 500 that's it you'll be entered um oh yeah you have to be a subscriber as well and it'd be nice if you click like on the video so yeah anyway back to where i was got another screaming 21 22 Ugh. Right. Where are you? There we go. Uh, I'm going to guess another sixpence. Maybe. Oh, it's a little bit toasted, that one. Rang up really high. Uh, yeah, not entirely sure on that one. Could be a farthing, I think. If it is, be the first farthing I've ever had. Uh, yeah, it's thin. It rang up quite high. I'd like to say twenty. Between 21 22. Mm. And we have ourselves another threatening bit by the looks of it. Bring it up as a nice 21. Blew my ears off. But can't believe how many pre decimals. My bag's getting heavy with them. <laughs> I'm not complaining though. Okay, well, I am making my way back to the car. Got some pinging off here at 29. I don't know what it is. Not be a two peak. Uh, yeah. Bugger. Oh well. Can't complain at all. I've had a fantastic day. Hello, and as you can see, I'm back at home. Um, I actually filmed this about this was about three weeks ago. That's how far behind I am now. These uh, videos have shot quite a few. But anyway, let's look at what I've got because it was better than what I thought. So this is everything. Um, I'll just go through a few of the things quickly. So that was the N. That's all it was. Just a bit of tat. Uh, I haven't had a chance to clean that up any better, really. This, what I thought might have been gold or brass, is brass. I dropped a bit of nitric acid on it, and uh, which is a gold testing kit that I've got. And uh, yeah, it bubbled up green. So that was uh, that was nothing. This, on the other hand, was quite interesting. Um, you can't quite make it out on here, but the, yeah. it's got a Saint Christopher on that side, and there is a bit of writing, but I can't quite make it out. Uh, this turned out to be pewter, um, but that is amethyst. So, uh, but still nice all the same. And then I've got the. Oh, the Virginia Westwood um, earring. Uh, yeah, that's just uh, that's just plated. I'm pretty sure. I think. Yeah. Um, this that's uh, I'm gonna guess that's like Art Deco Art Nouveau, so 1920s, 1930s. A little heart. This turned out to be a union badge, so it's the, um, I'm trying to remember this, National Sailors and Firemen's Union. It's um, in the cleaning process. Unfortunately, the back came off it. Still don't know what that is, 
though I'm fairly sure it's lead because of the weight. And usual spendables, a couple of uh, pennies, a couple of two peas, a 10p and a pound coin. Uh, some, that one's a bit, that one's the, probably the best one, 1919 penny. Um, that's a George the Sixth. That was a 1905, so was that George the Fifth? Yeah. Um, Victoria. Can't get a date off this. This one is pretty toasted. I've not really managed to clean that up too much. I'm not sure on. Oh no, I can't make out. 1919 half penny, 1902 ship half penny, so that's going to be like 1950s, 1960s, something. That's pretty worn. 52 half penny. I'm gonna guess that might have been a Victoria half penny, but it's pretty toasted. A couple of threepenny bits, and then we're getting on to the better stuff. So I've got, uh, still need to do a bit of cleaning on these. One sixpence, two sixpence, three sixpence, four sixpence. Um, these are all non silver, so like 1950s. Uh, I think that one's the earlier non silver 1949. But then we've got this one, which has come up with lovely 1942, so that's 50% silver. Uh, this one, which is 1924, half silver. 1926, half silver sixpence. And then this, which I believe is a, it is a threepenny, uh, three pence, and I do believe the date is 1901, so that's full silver. So I got four silver coins out of that. So yeah, quite a, uh, quite an impressive haul there really. Four silver coins in one day, that's the most I've ever had. Um, one has been, the, well actually I got the hammock ninja uh, in the last one and then I followed it with four um, more modern, a lot more modern, um, but still silver all the same. So yeah, really, really good day and to all those pre-decimals to come up on the beach is um, quite a rarity really as far as I, I know. Um, I've had like the odd ones you know like the odd penny here and there and, and stuff but never that much so an absolute brilliant day probably one of my best days metal detecting and it was on my birthday as well so i could not ask for uh, any any better really could have but i'm not gonna so yeah um don't forget to subscribe and uh was it hashtag um 500 to enter the giveaway i shall draw that in the new year there's going to be a bunch of videos coming out over the christmas period i've got i think four in the pipeline uh well three after this one which is going to come out over so like christmas week so plenty to keep you entertained because the weather forecast is rubbish uh and then yeah that's it so until the next one guys bye for now